Hello everybody, this is Graphic Tools Lab. How have you been? In this tutorial we will learn about utilizing Illustrator to make vector drawings like Cartoon Thought Bubble. I'll show you how to make full use of Anchor Point and Distort. Before I get started I just want to say, if you like to watch more of tutorials make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or comment and subscribe, that's very encouraging. Okay then, let's get started. In this video, we will use Illustrator CC. Follow my steps slowly. I made document and bubbles already. First, press L to open ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse. Make a couple of different sizes with Alt press. OK, select all. And then go to Window, Open Pathfinder Panel. Click Unite. Draw an ellipse. Now open Add Anchor Point tool. Make points along the circumference. Let's duplicate it. Go to Effect, Distort, Pucker and Bloat. Turn the preview on. Move the point. I'm gonna probably leave about here. Select Ellipse. Go to Effect, Pucker and Bloat. If you move down your percents it's gonna be like burst as you can see. Go to Effect, Distort, Zigzag. I'll modify size and segments. You can choose smooth points too. Activate Add Anchor Point tool. Add some points along the stroke. Make a copy of it. Go to Zigzag. Now we can see zigzag effect is difficult to predict. Click apply zigzag. Press A to open direct selection tool. You can handle anchor point as you want. I think this is more dramatic than left one. Now we are gonna make dotted background. Press M to open Rectangle tool. Drag it. Delete stroke. Click Fill to open Color Picker. I'm gonna fill with yellow. Let's create one more rectangle which is going to be dot pattern. Go to Window, Swatches. Click Swatch Libraries menu. Go to Patterns, Basic Graphics, Basic Graphics Dots. I'll hit 10 dpi 30%. If you fill color directly, it happens just like this. Let's go back. We have to double-click pattern in swatches panel. Now we can change dots color. Click done. Drag background images. Hit send to back. Now we have done. This is super super simple. 
So that's all for Graphic Tool Slab. Utilize what you learn and make awesome images. Please keep an eye on more videos to come. Thank you so so much for watching this tutorial.